in the last episode. There you are. Well, while effective, I debate the sanity, and also I I am afraid that <laughs> that we are now out of ammo. Hi guys, and welcome to Yoni Place Stalker: Shadow of Chernobyl. I don't remember what our purpose was. Are we finding a code for the door upstairs, or are we uh, go? Are we going to like? No, we were shutting down a psiometer. Aha, uh -huh, that's what we were doing. That's right. But this isn't a psiometer. This is a... What was that? Oh, I think his foot or some... No, I think... Well, some... His skull, actually. His skull fell down. Okay. Eh. To turn the machine off. Is it on now? What do you do, machine? What is your purpose here? Good question. Oh, okay, that was the brain scorcher. Ah. Oh. oh, I see. It was. Oh dear, we are cutscening. We're fainting. It's When I woke up, <coughs> this voice said, What you want is here, stalker. Come. I have to... And you saw the whole cutscene. Cut it faded very slowly in a very convenient way, so I could turn off the recording just before it ended. Thirteen? Fifteen? Okay. Sure, yeah. And this is locked again. And the whole world is making noises that I don't like. What you want is here, stalker. Well, to talk about that cutscene... That was evidently the mo monolith. Did you hear that voice? What did it say? I was chatting your ear off, so I couldn't hear it. Did he say duck? <laughs> Holy crap! I wonder if that was that guy saying duck, or if that was my inner... My inner voice saying duck. So, Strella got to the monolith, and I guess someone... I'm, I'm not sure actually what this is all about, but I'm getting more and more convinced that we are Strella. I don't remember what my face looked like. The funny thing here is that, you know, it says 12 and there might just as well be 12 guys standing right around that corner, as far as I know. 
I mean, since we're actually reliving Strelok's memories, it's like, it has to be they were out there. Uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna borrow your guns, because mine happens to be out of ammo. And I am conveniently uh, not very heavily loaded, so I can just use yours. Where did the guy go? There's only one body here. Fucking disappearing bodies. I think that was my inner voice, the voice that said, I'm here, come, or what you want is here, come get it. This is going well. Oh, Jesus Christ, you cheat! Oh, okay. Have to headshot them. How do you like my grenade? More than I like your gun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, a very rapidly moonwalking guy just came by. Aha! Yes. On the third, I think, try. We actually killed one person out of twelve. through med packs like an AIDS patient with a drug problem. God damn it, don't close in on me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How can there be more enemies? <laughs> Please, no more enemies. It's enough. It's enough. Why aren't you shooting? Okay. Oh, wow, I hit. That's a. No, no. Oh. One more. Apparently they're not so certain they want to fire up, up a stair <laughs> as up. Duck! Go away! You are ugly and... Go fight someone with your own armor. You heard me. 
Subject eliminated. I am very uneliminated, my friend. No. Why are you firing? Ah, I don't want to exploit you. What? Oh, you're under me. Lewa. Wait, wait, but I, I don't know if you can fire through the grates. Great. Okay. I have four bullets left. I didn't realize that. We we have an issue, marked one, you and I. We may be Superman in some senses, but in some others we certainly aren't. It is true that at this range this gun is actually <laughs> Fairly, fairly sufficient. Mm. Wow. Just wow. I am fighting an army. It went all quiet. Maybe there's no more people. Or they're trying to pull cheeky brickies on me. Oh dear. Okay, all the guns. All the guns. All the guns. And all the grenades. I can't move. Still people out there and they're still moving, but at least, at least I can fire at them. And there should be more. It saves standing up in the doorway. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He did. We are feeling excellent today. Fuck yeah. I saw a person. Actually, marked one saw a person. I didn't see anything. But there was a rod. Re a rod. A red dot on my. Got him. Also alerted the entire place, place to my presence. They sent in the heavy artillery for me. They did. They sure did. There he is. And he's going up. And he's coming. And I'm shooting him in the bulletproof vest. 40 times. Yeah. Feeling a little bit exposed. I think he's coming again. God damn it. I saw him move. There he is. Oh yeah? Well, you suck. There's your fact. God, man, why didn't you shoot me? There you go. 
Oh, you're waiting for reinforcement. Huh? Oh, damn, that hurt. Ah, oh, shit. So I acquire ammo and I swiftly spend it by <laughs> shooting bandits 40 times. That's okay. That's okay. Everybody has to do it their way. You're alive. I'm sorry, man, but I have to loot you. I have this distinct feeling that, you know, if I could speak Russian and went, can I please take your stuff now? Otherwise, I have to kill you. Then you would hand me your stuff. Instead of me having to stab you. Which seems decidedly like an overreaction. Hmm. Can't see any... There we go. Now we have people again. That means that they're at least not super close. And that they're in this direction. No! And that I am an idiot. Yep. <clears throat> I just want to get out of here and back to safety. And I won't quit until I do. I know they do those things, so I don't know why I keep... At least I got him. We have learned a couple of things. We have learned that bots knock over barrels. We have learned that if you're going to aim at the doorway, it's better to aim so that you see the entire doorway, even if you know which side he's coming from. And we have learned that... that you can't eat these. And that you're going to die. We have learned that people come from behind. I wonder where he was. How I missed him. Because I'm assuming that the game doesn't actually spawn people behind me on purpose. It doesn't seem like that kind of game. He was probably hiding somewhere waiting for me and then... Yeah, I guess they were like, oh no! He shot through his way through all of these our people. We have to go back in and... Stop him. And you're like... And then they fill the entire place with all of their soldiers.
Oh, this place is terrible. I knew you were in there. Now listen carefully. Safer inside, also more radiation. We feel prepared on the ball. We feel like any corner could potentially kill us. Soldiers are so much scarier than any monster. We feel so safe and in control that we shoot uncontrollably at anything we see <laughs> just to be the one to shoot first. That's right, Mark One. That's right. We are doing just fine. Um, and a good soldier needs both skill and luck. Use it, I hate you game. Well, I want you, but I walk away. Cause I need you. Like a bullet, bullet in the brain. 